Sometimes dreams are wiser than waking. Treat the earth well, it was not given to you by your parents, it was loaned to you by your children. We do not inherit the earth from our ancestors, we borrow it from our children. Live your life that the fear of death can never enter your heart. The old people came literally to love the soil and they sat or reclined on the ground with a feeling of being close to a mothering power. The soil was soothing, strengthening, cleansing, and healing. Everything on the earth has a purpose, every disease and herb to cure it, and every person a mission. This is the Indian theory of existence. The first piece, which is the most important, is that which comes within the souls of people when they realize their relationship, their oneness with the universe and all its powers, and when they realize that at the center of the universe dwells the great spirit, and that this center is everywhere, it is within each of us. Love your life, perfect your life, beautify all things in your life. All things share the same breath, the beast, the tree, the man. The air shares its spirit with all the life it supports. Trouble no one about their religion, respect others in their view and demand that they respect yours. We do not inherit the earth from our ancestors, we borrow it from our children. We do not want riches, we want peace and love. Everything an Indian does is in a circle, and that is because the power of the world always works in circles. To harm the earth is to heap contempt on its creator. Out of the Indian approach to life there came a great freedom, an intense and absorbing respect for life, enriching faith in a supreme power, and principles of truth, honesty, generosity, equity, and brotherhood as a guide to mundane relations. Is it wrong for me to love my own? Is it wicked for me because my skin is red? Because I am Sue? Because I was born where my father lived? because I would die for my people and my country? Hear me, my chiefs. I am tired. My heart is sick and sad. From where the sun now stands, I will fight no more forever. It does not require many words to speak the truth. Even the seasons form a great circle in their changing, and always come back again to where they were. The life of a person is a circle from childhood to childhood, and so it is in everything where power moves. At the center of the universe dwells the great spirit, and that center is everywhere. It is within each of us. Birds make their nest in circles, for theirs is the same religion as ours. I am poor and naked, but I am the chief of the nation. We do not want riches, but we do want to train our children right. Riches would do us no good. We could not take them with us to the other world. We do not want riches. We want peace and love. From where the sun now stands, I will fight no more. It is through this mysterious power that we too have our being, and we therefore yield to our neighbors, even to our animal neighbors, the same right as ourselves to inhabit this vast land. Sing your death song and die like a hero going home. I hope the great Heavenly Father, who will look down upon us, will give all the tribes his blessing, that we may go forth in peace, and live in peace all our days, and that he will look down upon our children and finally lift us far above this earth. Each man is good in the sight of the Great Spirit. It is not necessary for eagles to be crows. Now we are poor, but we are free. No white man controls our footsteps. If we must die, we die defending our rights. I will obey every law or submit to the penalty. 
I am a red man. If the Great Spirit had desired me to be a white man, he would have made me so in the first place. Let me be a free man, free to travel, free to stop, free to work. If we must die, we die defending our rights. Children must early learn the beauty of generosity. They are taught to give what they prize most, that they may taste the happiness of giving. Let me be a free man, free to travel, free to stop, free to work, free to trade where I choose, free to choose my own teachers, free to follow the religion of my fathers, free to talk, think and act for myself, and I will obey every law or submit to the penalty. The earth is the mother of all people, and all people should have equal rights upon it. When your time comes to die, be not like those whose hearts are filled with fear of death, so that when their time comes, they weep and pray for a little more time to live their lives over again in a different way. Sing your death song and die like a hero going home. If the white man wants to live in peace with the Indian, he can live in peace. Prepare a noble death song for the day when you go over the great divide. Each man is good in his sight. It is not necessary for eagles to be crows. So, live your life that the fear of death can never enter your heart. Trouble no one about their religion, respect others in their view, and demand that they respect yours. Love your life, perfect your life beautify all things in your life. Seek to make your life long and its purpose in the service of your people. Prepare a noble death song for the day when you go over the great divide. He put in your heart certain wishes and plans, in my heart he put other different desires. Grandfather, Great Spirit, once more behold me on earth and lean to hear my feeble voice. I cured with the power that came through me. Now that we are poor, we are free. No white man controls our footsteps. There is no death, only a change of worlds. When you rise in the morning, give thanks for the light, for your life, for your strength. Give thanks for your food and for the joy of living. If you see no reason to give thanks, the fault lies in yourself. All things share the same breath, the beast, the tree, the man. The air shares its spirit with all the life it supports. It does not require many words to speak the truth. May the stars carry your sadness away, may the flowers fill your heart with beauty, may hope forever wipe away your tears. And, above all, may silence make you strong. Earth does not belong to us, we belong to Earth. Take only memories, leave nothing but footprints. It is the mothers not the warriors who create a people and guide their destiny. Always give a word or sign of salute when meeting or passing a friend, or even a stranger, if in a lonely place. I am poor and naked, but I am the chief of the nation. We do not want riches, but we do want to train our children right. Riches would do us no good. We could not take them with us to the other world. We do not want riches. We want peace and love. The secret of our success is that we never, never give up. How smooth must be the language of the whites, when they can make right look like wrong, and wrong like right. I was born on the prairies where the wind blew free and there was nothing to break the light of the sun. I was born where there were no enclosures. If you talk to the animals, they will talk with you and you will know each other. If you do not talk to them, you will not know them and what you do not know, you will fear. What one fears, one destroys. 
Take only memories, leave only footprints. An Indian is an Indian regardless of the degree of Indian blood or which little government card they do or do not possess. Where no one intrudes, many can live in harmony. If a man loses anything and goes back and looks carefully for it, he will find it. The way you treat yourself sends a very clear message to others about how they should treat you. We are going by you without fighting if you will let us, but we are going by you anyhow. Every human longs for peace and love. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.